<laughs> Due to cutbacks, I will now be appearing as Craig Ferguson. <laughs> This is what's going to happen. I'm very happy to see you. I've been away on holiday for two weeks, as of course you don't know, because you're only watching this because you've got a toothache. But... <laughs> I, um... It's very nice to see you, and I was just... I was looking through my personal possessions, my stuff that I keep here. Yeah, I do have personal possessions, now, and, and I found my picture of, um... me, and... <laughs> And I always keep a picture of me in case I need to, you know, show identification. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, you know, at the post office or something. Do you have any uh, identification? I go, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right. Okay, I can see it's you. Uh, thank you. Let's let's get on with it then. Give me that thing that I need. <laughs> Do you need ID at the post office? Yeah, you, if you wanted to get a passport, that's... Is that where you get a, a passport? I don't know. <laughs> I'm an immigrant. I got my passport at the border. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Studio audience are pretty high. <laughs> And me too, because we're pumping, uh, a, you know that stuff that they used to give out the dentist, nitrous oxide? Yeah, we're pumping it into the studio. And you know what? Yeah. Quiet, madam. And why? I'll tell you why. Because this show is garbage. But if you're high, genius. Sound phony at all. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what a very attractive studio audience we have this evening. <laughs> Lesson number one to get people that are unenthusiastic to like you, tell them they look attractive. <laughs> wow, what an attractive audience we have this evening. On no account, let them know that's what you're doing. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? You see that? A great day for America, but not... Not a great day, not a great day for my friend Paris Hilton. Paris, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so over the weekend, she was arrested for cocaine possession. I'm like, oh, Paris, 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 come on! Now, in her defense, and I am going to come to her defense, it was in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! It's in Vegas, in Vegas. Cocaine is served at the breakfast buffet. <laughs> you want bacon? You want a line of toot? What do you want? <laughs> Police found cocaine in uh, Paris's purse. They became suspicious when that little dog she keeps in there was seen with a rolled-up dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's my stash, bitch. What do you do? Anyway, Paris says... <laughs> Paris says someone else left their cocaine. 
in her purse. Now, isn't this the same thing she said when she was busted with pot? <laughs> it was a friend's pot in her purse. In legal circles, this is known as the Lindsay Lohan defense. <laughs> uh, and what, Lindsay said someone left cocaine in her pants. <laughs> and, and that's true. It turned out well for her, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using that defense. From now on, when a joke bombs on this show, I'm gonna say it's someone else's joke. I'm gonna say <laughs> someone left, so a friend left it in my mouth, that was saying. If I had a nickel for every time I've said that. That's my Fugermeister. Oh! <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, have you? Yep. Yeah, all right. Anyway, it's a great day for me. Because we're back from summer vacation. We showed two weeks of reruns, but it's great to be back. Do we have a graphic to be back from vacation? Back from vacation. <laughs> that's it? That's, that's the graphic? Two weeks and that's what you... That's it? Anyway, I went on vacation the same time as uh, President Obama, but we both had to get away from it all and do, you know, not do anything of significance. <laughs> now we're both back at work not doing anything of... Um... <laughs> Two weeks is a long time for me to be away. This studio was totally dark and quiet. Then I went away on vacation. <laughs> Anyway, a lot happened when we were off. Let's say Americans were told to stay away from tainted eggs when we were... <laughs> By the way, tainted eggs is the name of a club over there in West Hollywood. <laughs> Try getting me to stay away from tainted eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been up tainted eggs there? No, no, you're lying. <laughs> uh, re they had to recall half a billion eggs. That's not easy. You try putting an egg back into a chicken. Oh. <laughs> half a billion. I know you. <laughs> 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 happened when I was gone. They, oh, yeah, the, uh, that Republican, Ken Melman, came out of the closet. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but when he was chairman of the Republican National Committee, he was pushing anti-gay legislation. Him coming out is like BP announcing they're actually Greenpeace. <laughs> but I think... I think everyone knew Melman was gay. Do we have a picture of Melman? I mean, come on! <laughs> now, this... <laughs> Guys, did I see him in Tainted Eggs? Yep. Yeah. See, th you know what bothers me? This happens every time I try and take a vacation. Every a vacation. Yes, a vacation. <laughs> a vacation. What's a vacation, Craig? It's kind of like a vacation, but more fabulous. <laughs> I watched the Emmys last night and I thought, I better not do any more gay jokes. Everybody's doing too many gay jokes. That's it. No more gay jokes. I come out tonight. I've been going tainted eggs crazy since I got out of here. <laughs> but what bothers me is that I, I, go, I go on vacation, another politician comes out of the closet, and it pisses me off because I can't talk about it. If only, see, if these politicians could coordinate their schedules as well as they coordinate, <laughs> coordinate their belts and their shoes. <laughs> Anyway, people say to me, Craig, you had two weeks off. You must have gone somewhere exotic. No. <laughs> no, I did not. I stayed home and had plastic surgery. <laughs> I now have the ass of a 20-year-old. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> there was a lady up in the audience who went, jokes. <laughs> this is the universal sign for, show us your ass. <laughs> show us your ass. <laughs> and when I was on vacation, I grew a beard. Oh, shocked you there, didn't I, people I don't know? Yes. Do we have a picture of my vacation beard? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what? Man, I, let's see that. 
Like that? That really looks like a vagina. And, and so does the beard. Let me see it again. Look like a dirty Colonel Saunders. I'm finger licking good. <laughs> Now, that picture wasn't real. I did grow a beard, though. I, say, I tried to grow a beard. What happened? It was white and patchy. It was awful. It was really very bad. It wasn't more like Santa Claus. It was more like Santa Cracky. <laughs> it, like, if Santa woke up in a dumpster with Whitney Houston, that's what it looked like. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Uh, uh -huh. Is it that time already? Commercial break? Oh, thank goodness the commercials at least now will get some quality entertainment. Because, <laughs> yep. yep. Did you go on vacation anywhere? Yep. <laughs> really? Where did yep. you? Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Where did you go? Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Yep. Oh, I stopped. <laughs> once more, outsmarted by an appliance. <laughs> Yep. All right, we'll be right back. It's the uh, professional, dedicated to excellence show it's always been. <laughs> I'm really mad I can't grow a beard. I really, I, I really gave it a good old college try and it's awful. I can't grow it. it the irony is I have a thicket of pubes. <laughs> I, I, I don't have pubes in my face. I could, I, I could, I could if I wanted to, do, thanks to yoga. But <laughs> by the way, thicket of pubes is my favourite Walt Whitman poem. You should, uh, <laughs> really is. You know he had to publish it himself. Everyone's like, no one is, no one's gonna like this, Walt. He's like, I'm telling you, this is my best yet. <laughs> All right. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Our mateys, tweet mails, ho! Tweet mails, ho, indeed. Stop that cover and don't look back. Here comes an email and Twitter attack. Giant freaky monsters crossing our city. It's a jumbo lizard wrecking committee. So grab your ray gun and your rocket pack. And join the email and Twitter. Other shows with more than 40 bucks. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's entertainment. I didn't say skeleton there, I said skeleton, didn't I? That's a mixture of skeleton and felon. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yeah, that's true. All right, um, all right. Here's uh, an email, uh, Twitter. I can't remember. Uh, There's a Twitter from uh, from Jenna in San Jose in California. If you don't speak Spanish, uh, San Jose is uh, is Spanish for San Jose. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Jenna says, uh, Hey, Craig, my boss just asked if I can babysit his three kids on Friday. It pays well. Should I do it? <laughs> no, no, no. I've seen some movies in the 80s and stuff. <laughs> nah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Uh, this is from Tiffany on the Gold Coast in Australia. Australia? <laughs> Hang on, then. There's... 
uh, she said, I'll read it in Australian. Hi, Craig. <laughs> How can you tell if someone is lying to you or not? <laughs> well, um, Tiffany. Uh, I didn't know that was an Australian name, Tiffany. <laughs> you know the weird thing? That's a boy's name in Australia. <laughs> You can tell someone is lying to you if they're English. Uh, hey, 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 hey. I think there's some English people in the audience. Or they might be lying. Uh, this is from Jenny in uh, Texas. Finally! <laughs> Jenny said, that's Jenny there, good American. Uh, she says, hi, Craig. Is it unprofessional for me to flirt with the delivery guys when they bring their packages into our office? <laughs> You'd probably do your own joke there, I think. Uh, all right, this is from Azir in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Now, here's the weirdest thing. I've been drunk in this town. I have. Craig, have you really been drunk in Kuala Lumpur? Why, yes, I have. And what happened? I don't know. I was <laughs> I wasn't there for very long. I was actually on my way back from Australia. <laughs> this is crazy! I was on my way back from Australia. Where? A guy called Tiffany. <laughs> and at least he may have been Australian. He had a kind of English accent, so he could have been lying. <laughs> and then I got drunk in Kuala Lumpur with him slash her. Who cares when you're drunk? And <laughs> All right. This is from Francis. And do we have any from Americans? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> this is from Francis in St. Anne de Plain in Quebec, which is not, that's not America either. Like, Quebec's in Canada. And it's not even in How You Doing A Bacon, Canada. It's, it, it's the other part of Canada. It's the. <laughs> not in the. Ooh, sorry, I'm friendly. Ooh, hey, do you like cheese, Canada? No, the, the other part of Canada. Evil Canada, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know when there was good Spock and then there was evil Spock? There's good Canada. Hey, how you doing? Do you like cheese? And then... <laughs> anyway, Francis says, Dear Craig, my brother is 19 years old and he wants to get his first tattoo on his face. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Drive him to the parlor. <laughs> Yeah, tattoo in your face, that's a commitment, man. I mean, I've got some tats, but, you know, I cover them up using CBS equipment. <laughs> There's no way that... I can have a... It's called a suit. <laughs> this... Well, well, I can swear. I can cuss in my show. This is America. I know you bleep it, but you know, don't you? You know. <laughs> uh, but, Craig, you, uh, yeah, well, you can't say... Ooh la la. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, I can. Especially when the audience is high on nitrous oxide. the show uh, where uh, uh, anyway <laughs> no I'm actually feeling quite upbeat tonight I have to be honest with you because it's the first show back after a while there's some English people in the audience a lady from London Shh. <laughs> and she lives in a part of London where I used to go out with a girl that lived in that same part of London and she looks a bit like her except no <laughs> You're thinking, Craig, you never went out with a lady. I did. <laughs> anyway, my next guest is an actor. He's a musician uh, and a magician. <laughs> he doesn't know about the magician thing yet. 
so, shh, so don't bring it up. He doesn't know he's a magician. That's the wonder of magic. <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh. Anyway, he's an actor, he's a musician, he's a magician. <laughs> them on the ropes, Mr. F. <laughs> All right, hang on. Welcome back, everybody. Am I, uh... I got myself, I don't know what happened. It's amazing how you came out there. It was if it, but you came out by that. Well, it's funny. I heard a little bit of what you're saying. It's funny, just this interesting coincidence, because I brought a little trick. Shut up, really? Yeah, I did, I did. You see these, mm -hmm. right? And then, right? Yeah. Just gone. <laughs> just... That's magic. Hey, listen. <laughs> I got a, I actually, during the email segment before you come out, um, I was reading up, a, I, I got this email from Kuala Lumpur. What? Is that a rooster? Yeah, it's an email. It's, well, what happens is, so we know it's a tweet, they put a bird on it. Oh, that is clever. Yeah. That is very clever. <laughs> it's more like a roost, but... <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a it's a bird. It's a yeah. rooster. You know, you don't want to don't put your tainted egg in there because that's not <laughs> whatever comes out of there ain't going back. No, you know I, what I'm saying? I understand. I understand. I haven't been to tainted eggs in. You, have in, you ever in, been to? Uh, do you go years to ago? Years ago, I used to go. You know, when I first, you know, kind of came up in, in Hollywood. I mean, I, I was born here, but I like to pretend like I, you know, I got when I first got to Hollywood. Uh, from school. Yeah, from yeah, school. Yeah. From, uh, from from finishing school, from charm school. Um, one of the first things I did to just kind of really, because everyone said if you want to make it in this town, you got to go to Tainted Eggs, and um, <laughs> and uh, it turns out they were kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the opposite. And, is and true. right, yeah. and as it turns out, you know, cut to 20 years later, and. I didn't get introduced show, yeah, yeah. on your show. I well, just I have to. No, to, I, I know, was, I know. I was getting to introduce right, you. Right. I started to make myself. I've been off for a couple of weeks. No, I know. I, know. I overplayed my hand and made myself laugh. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I'm your first. So I'm your first. You're my. You're my first ever. <laughs> I, I was trying to decide whether that I should take that as a compliment, and I decided not to. Why not? Um, <laughs> I mean, first of all, it was a lot of pressure, so I couldn't, I couldn't handle the, 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 the pressure, the anxiety. That's actually why I came out, because it, yeah, the build-up yeah, yeah, gets yeah, intense, no, and just, you burst, and you have to come out. <laughs> but, um... That's what I was thinking! Yeah. I like how they're still telling you to say, please welcome Adam Goldberg. Yeah, but, yeah, um, the thing, the sign-up. Usually they up. say, wrap it up as soon as I come out. I've noticed. <laughs> anyway, so the, anyway, go on. Well, the, I wanted the to roost. do the email from the, the Kuala Lumpur person. Yeah, yeah. That, can I just say, by the yeah, way, that's yeah. a great mustache. You like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. I never leave home without some sort of facial hair. So, uh, today it was a mustache. Yesterday, I had paeuses, and, uh... What, and, what did and you have for paeuses? Paeuses are the curly, uh, oh, juice side Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> but I had that with, like, an Aleister Crowley, like, sort of Raleigh Fingers mustache. Nice! Just to kind of... You know, Whoa, where right. is he going? Yeah. But then, you know, I knew I was doing the program, so... Did you um, just went straight to... Just went straight to 70s Hustler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Can I... So, um, yeah, yeah. You I ever been to it. Kuala Lumpur, by the way? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> is that an airline? No, it's a town. Oh, really? Yes, of course, Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. Uh, you in, went to school in, in Hollywood, in, didn't you? <laughs> Actually, North Hollywood. North Hollywood? Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even. Um, <coughs> so where, where is that? Uh, New Zealand. Malaysia. <laughs> Kuala Lumpur, it's very... They've got the tallest building in the world there. I know a lot about Camus. I was just trying to think of... You know. All right, then. I'll uh, just... Actually, Let's I go don't, Algerian uh, existentialists. No, Let's do yeah, that know, then. Yes, All right yeah. then. 
Because uh, well, I wanted to read the email. No, no, I, I want you to read it. I don't, move. I don't want to interrupt you. This is your first day back. I know it's a big thing. But you, you, I know you, you, do, you do, no, 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 you do, you do, no, do, do your thing. I'm just going to, I'll, I'll be here. Uh, Jeff, there's a camera right there. Yeah. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, there he is. Right Thank now, you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Number yeah. one. Yeah, the, camera, um, the cameras move. Yeah, no, I didn't realize I'm surrounded by them. <laughs> there's even... There's another one facing... Oh, it's, I see. It's, Jeff has his own camera. Oh, sure, but it's a yeah. totally different model of it's camera. It's a different type of camera, yeah, yeah, for skeletons. Right. <laughs> yep. Right. All right, I'm going to read this yeah, thing yeah, from Kuala Lumpur. Let's, let's, ready? Let's, All right, uh, it's from Azir. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to make a joke about that name because, I mean, there's no, there's no politically correct version of a joke of that name. <laughs> That's why I was hoping you'd make right, one, right, actually. Right, right, right. <laughs> anyway, he says, Dear Chris, Tutti Fruits, no, because you did. No, I, no, 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 no. I always like to see what they, later on. No. So are they, uh, Makes my mother really, uh-oh, proud. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, from Azir in Qua Azir. Azir in Kuala, Kuala Lumpur, Lumpur, yeah, Poor. which is in uh, New Zealand. Wait a minute. <laughs> Never mind. That right. Isn't that the? I just no. I just there's a CNN anchor who. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's uh, Christiane Amanpour. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's. And she reports oftentimes from New Zealand. Oh, she's, she's never out of New Zealand. She's always here. She's always in oh, New Zealand. Oh, right, right, look what's happening now. In New the Zealand, right. in the sheet. Right. Her right. <laughs> Anyway, Azir in Kuala Lumpur, he says, Dear Craig and Adam, he says, which is an amazing. incredible coincidence. He knew yeah. you were going to be here. Would you go on a sailing adventure to another country or continent? Ah, is he? No. Are you asking me? <laughs> yeah, would you? Why not? You don't like sailing? Well, oh, you don't I, like I, sailing? No, I like, I like. I've been to Catalina uh, a couple times. <laughs> I went there. Funny? I, I went to Catalina. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. sailing. I was, I mean, I yeah. was 10. Um, <laughs> and it was unwittingly on some sort of school trip. But I went and I got there and I did it. And I only got a little bit seasick for about half the time. And the other time, I, the other half, I don't remember much because the drama, I mean, really wipes a... <laughs> that'll wipe a 10-year-old right on out. But, um... You're making me sad. I got hissed. You got hissed? Well, I think it might have been no, a laugh. It's, it's the like English people, when they laugh, stuff whistles out their teeth. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Um, so you would do that? You would take a... I went to Catalina last week on a sailboat. No, but would you take a big sailing adventure to a... Yeah, event? sure. You're darn right. I would. Yeah. I would take a little... I'd take a little mat, oh, yeah, yeah. and I would sail it from the South America yeah. to, the po to the Polynesian Islands to prove that's how people traveled back in the day. That's and right. I would call myself Thor Heyerdahl. Wow. <laughs> okay. I would, first I would run 26 miles, all right? Okay. Then I would do, what's the, what's the second thing you do in a triathlon? Pogo stick. Then I would pogo stick. <laughs> then I would swim. Carrying the pogo stick. Carrying the pogo stick to wherever the ship was docked, and then I'd do the, the, whole, the whole thing. Your turn. <laughs> Your move. It was someone else's cocaine in my purse. Is that what she said? Man, I, I mean, I got. Have you met Paris? Paris is a lovely girl. I've had her on the show. It's lovely. She never seems high when she's you here. Had her on? She actually seems, she always seems a bit bored when she's here, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I've met her. I think she. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Maybe in Kuala Lumpur one night? Yeah, yeah. I think we had a crazy night once at Tainted Eggs. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what? I just realized what would be fun for me. I should bring out dollar bills, and then when a guest says, I don't know, I should bring out a dollar bill and go, does this refresh oh, you? Oh, right, right. Uh, How about now? Wait, so she, <laughs> so she said... Wait a minute. So she said it wasn't it wasn't her fault because it was her friend. Her friend's cocaine was in her purse. Yeah. Has she never seen Locked Up Abroad? <laughs> like oh, you hold just. On a second. Oh, Michael's trying to get my attention. What, what, what is it? Someone is it cocaine? Oh, money. <laughs> now he's got money. Um, you want the money? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> it's been a slow summer. Thanks. How much is there? It's all right. You know, I'm I'm not proud. No, no, no. Keep keep taking it. But thank you. Thank you. That's nice.
Yeah, they, they, nice. they are enjoying that yeah. warm applause I, on your indignity. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, yeah, you met Paris Hilton once? Uh, I, no, I don't know. I think, I'm, I think she was at, like, a rap party of something I did many years ago. A drug-related film, in fact. Oh, yeah. what uh, oh, uh, yeah. A film what called The Salt and Sea. I, I seem to recall. I didn't maybe she, she see may that be, movie. Yeah. I'm not sure I did. I didn't see that movie. <laughs> The Salton Sea is one of the best movies. I, play, I played a speed freak named named uh, Cujo. Played, Cujo, yeah. the character you played, was amazing. Yeah. He was a speed freak, right? Right, yeah. It was amazing. How did right. you get into that character? Right, it's interesting you should ask. I'm sorry, uh, we're out of time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what kind of car is it? What kind of car is it? It's an American car. <laughs> I like American cars. Okay, so yeah, it's a, it's a Mercury Marauder. <laughs> oh, why is that I funny? hated that movie. <laughs> no, I, I Mercury Marauder's a hey, good listen, car. Hey, listen, they only made that car for two years. It's, uh, it's you know, they only made 5,000 of them. Why? I don't know that that's something I should be bragging why? about. Why did they only make 5,000? Because you look fantastic. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> And you look tan, and not that kind of orange fake tan that you usually look. Do I usually look orange fake tan? No, see, that was meant to be. What I'm trying to say is, is that that one would usually looks if. I get it, buddy. I understand what you're saying. Um. So yeah, the salt. I'm so salt and sea. Really? Uh. As I, as I realized I was about to go into a. You were going to a long going to a story, a story about, about a movie that I did about 10 years ago. But you know what? Let's promote it because I'm sure somewhere buried <laughs> in my deal memo where, like, you know, you get these points a lot of times when you don't get paid a lot on the front end. You get a lot of back end points. Um, so I'm sure if uh, I keep hearing, you, you hear that hissing sound, right? What hissing sound? There's, there's the air is the English people the air is being let out of one of the audience members. <laughs> Oh, he's funny, isn't he? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, We're out of time, you know. Have you got anything to promote at all? Yeah, here's uh, another one. Nope. <laughs> I, have a, I have a record coming out in January, but it's far too early to discuss that. And uh, You don't want to come on here and, and play your songs, do you? No, I think I, think I might do that, actually. All right. Yeah. Do you and, need a mouth organ? Uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> you heard me. I used to... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I stopped going to mouth organ actually in the in the late nineties. I started going to uh, change it X. The ten yeah. X, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm well, we hope this has been informative for you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's everywhere. Right, Adam Goldberg, everybody. Adam, <coughs> Adam Goldberg, everybody. Right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. are a fantastic group of LA rockers are here performing the song Night and Day from their debut album Modern Rituals. Please welcome Chief, everybody, Chief. <laughs>
If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? That cat can grow a better moustache than me. <laughs> actually, to be fair, it's easy for cats and other furry creatures to grow moustaches because all they have to do is actually shave everything else in their body and leave, <laughs> and leave the moustache area. So, come on, cats, play fair. <laughs> Well, what did we learn on the show? I, listen, I would like to apologize tonight. I think I was a little over-enthusiastic tonight. I was very happy to be back, and when I was trying to introduce Adam Goldberg, I made myself laugh so much that I couldn't <laughs> introduce him. <laughs> Which is probably not the most professional piece of late-night <laughs> television that you'll ever see. And I will admit that we are not probably, maybe not, the most professional show on television. But I will tell you this. We are enthusiastic. And, that's about it. Uh, <laughs> and we're not always... Please, you'll move the nitrous oxide around. Uh, I'd also like to apologize to French Canada. I, uh, I called you Evil Canada, and of course, you're not evil. It was just a comedy construct I was trying to put together in order to try and cover up the fact that we've got no la la. material. <laughs> but you're not evil French Canadians, you're just French Canadians. 